All right, we're gonna be going over some of the techniques that we use in the office here to help you improve your baby positioning, especially if you've been told baby is breached, transverse, or just not in the optimal position. My name is Dr. Antonio with Live Loud Chiropractic. This is my lovely wife, Michelle. She is 35 weeks. Baby is in a great position right now because we've been doing a lot of work, obviously, throughout her whole pregnancy, uh, and she has a lot of content out there as well as about how to optimize baby position, just you yourself. But let's say, for instance, you just found out and you want baby to go head down, right? This is exactly what we're gonna be doing in the office and what you can expect in a session with us. So first and foremost, we start typically in a, uh, in a position where she's supine or on her back so we can get a good feel of where baby might be. Now one of the main things that we typically see in a malposition uh, alignment of the baby is tension in the abdominal wall. So we're gonna do a lot of belly work. Uh, obviously some of you might have heard of a technique called Webster technique, we have both taken and understand that technique, but we find that if you go beyond that technique and provide a lot of soft tissue work around the abdominal wall, we create more space. The goal here is to create more space. Baby wants to be head down. If we can give the space, then they're gonna go where they need to go with the encouragement of some movement as well. So we're just gonna start palpating, trying to get a feel of where head might be. Uh, we might know uh, based on what you can feel, but also what ultrasounds might have told us uh, in subsequent weeks. Now, with that, we, we wanna emphasize and focus what positions make you feel the best. If you don't feel comfortable in any position, then that's not gonna allow you to relax, which is counterproductive what we're trying to do. So oftentimes, I'm gonna have Nichelle turn on her side um, um, towards the camera. We're gonna do sideline positions here. What's great about a sideline position, which is something you can replicate at home, and we have other videos on body partner body work, that your partner can do for you to be an extension of our hands at home. Sideline position allows her to relax her abdominal wall really well um, and, can, and can take the, the complete load off, okay? From here, we're gonna do a lot of similar things where we're gonna be working the abdominal wall here, looking for tender, tight points that might be adding to the restriction or reducing the space. Um, this also kind of helps us do gentle little sifting motions or anything like that that allows the tension in the abdominal wall go away and ideally baby's head to go where we want. Now we're not intentionally trying to turn baby but by removing those roadblocks again they want to go where they want to they need to go and that's what our role is is to create space and remove tension. Now another great position that we will oftentimes utilize is I'm gonna have Michelle go on her hands and knees. Quadruped crawling types of positions are great for you to be practicing as it is. Uh, we're using gravity to help belly hang and the way I'd like to describe it is we're trying to create like this hammock and in doing so we're opening up the abdominal wall again creating more space this pulls baby out of the pelvis and off of your back again helping that space acclimation and hopefully a turn position so from here we might actually do some body work while abdominal wall is hanging and we found this to be super effective and actually helps release a lot of that tension we can work down in the round ligaments. We can work up across that rib border, along the obliques. All of those corners that can be tight and, again, restrict the space that we're looking for. Okay? Now, we've heard of the inversion and the tilt positions to help with uh, uh, breach positions or transverse positions. So we actually like to try to replicate that in doing our body work as well to, again, try to help that baby position. So from here, Nichelle can just go on her forearms, actually. So what we look at, this is obviously not as aggressive as an inversion or a tilt, which can, again, be more uh, difficult for a mom to be relaxed in. That's the key. If you're doing an inversion or a tilt, you have to be relaxed. Where this quadruped position on your forearms can be a middle ground that feels good. You can even put your knees up on a stair or two, a couple yoga blocks to give you more of that negative variance. But again, we're gonna do some more belly massage work here to help baby come out of pelvis and then hopefully start to make those moves to be in the position that we want them to be in. All of which again is followed up through an extensive amount of body work to help create space.